Hello there. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 most rewatched Star Wars moments. Revenge is not the Jedi way. I am no Jedi. For this list, we're looking at the most frequently revisited moments in the Star Wars franchise. And be forewarned, there will be spoilers ahead. If there's a Star Wars moment you rewatched that we missed, no need to use Jedi mind tricks on us, just tell us about it in the comments. Number 20. The Return of the Jedi, The Mandalorian Pinned down by dark troopers and with no hope of escape, Din Djarin and his friends find themselves suddenly rescued by a Jedi. But not just any Jedi, Luke freaking Skywalker! <laughs> The sequence of the hooded Luke demolishing the powerful droids as epic music plays gives us chills every time. No one thought we'd see Luke in live action again, much less in his prime. Are you a Jedi? I am. We love rewatching it just to confirm it actually happened. If this moment weren't so recent, it would probably rank higher. We're pretty sure it'll be revisited plenty in the years ahead. Number 19. Obi-Wan vs. Darth Vader – Star Wars Episode 4 – A New Hope it's the first lightsaber fight in the whole franchise. Is it any wonder people keep returning to it? The circle is now complete. When I left you, I was but the learner. Now I am the master. Only a master of evil, Darth. Obi-Wan Kenobi faces his old apprentice, now Darth Vader, in combat aboard the Death Star. After trading blows, Obi-Wan sacrifices himself and disappears, becoming one with the Force. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Although the passing of a mentor figure is a common trope of the hero's journey, the significance and appeal of Obi-Wan's demise goes beyond storytelling conventions. No! The history between the two characters is thoroughly explored throughout the rest of the franchise. The more you know about how the bond between the two was formed and broken, the more weight the scene carries. Number 18. The Pod Race – Star Wars Episode 1 – The Phantom Menace To win freedom for young Anakin Skywalker, Qui-Gon Jinn bets that the boy will win a pod race. Although his pod is sabotaged and the odds are stacked against him, Anakin manages to get first place. <laughs> The dangerous and high-speed contest makes for thrilling viewing no matter how many times you watch it. It has immersive sound design, constant action, and effects that have aged surprisingly well. Even if it does run a bit long, the pod race is a fantastic part of Star Wars and a great concept in general. It's a chariot race in space. That's pretty wizard. Number 17. Maul vs. Obi-Wan – Star Wars Rebels After 20 years, Darth Maul's hope of having his revenge against Obi-Wan is renewed when he learns that the Jedi is still alive. Using young Ezra Bridger, he's able to lure the old Jedi out of hiding on Tatooine to challenge Kenobi to a duel. Oh, you have a purpose here. Perhaps you are protecting something? No. Protecting someone. The two men have both lost almost everything at this point. But while Kenobi is at peace, Maul is not. Their short standoff is reminiscent of the duels in the westerns and samurai movies that inspired Star Wars. When Maul is cut down, his demise is surprisingly moving. All the villain wants in the end is hope, and Obi-Wan gives him that. Full of callbacks, this beautiful scene marks the end of a great Star Wars villain. Tell me, is it the Chosen One? He is. He will avenge us. Number 16. Ahsoka vs. Maul – Star Wars The Clone Wars This showdown has it all. High stakes, brilliant action, and absolutely stunning animation. When Ahsoka Tano refuses to join Maul, the two former apprentices square off during the battle for Mandalore. 
The tightly choreographed battle begins with a grounded exchange in the throne room. It then shifts to a high catwalk as Maul attempts to escape, but Ahsoka's clever maneuvering allows her to capture the former Sith Lord. While this fight is relatively new to longtime Star Wars fans, the atmosphere, spectacular choral music, and great dialogue made it an instant classic. Number 15. Kylo Ren and Rey vs. the Praetorian Guard, Star Wars Episode 8: The Last Jedi Yes, we know The Last Jedi was polarizing. But even if you dislike the movie as a whole, there are still a few enjoyable scenes worth revisiting. One of the best sequences to replay occurs when Rey finds herself at the mercy of Supreme Leader Snoke and Kylo Ren. In a surprising twist, Kylo cuts down Snoke. Then he shocks us again by joining forces with Rey to face off against Snoke's guards. The fight features a lot of unusual weapons and long takes that really let you appreciate all the awesome moves. It's also one of the few times a light side and dark side force user team up, at least in live action. Number 14. Ahsoka Leaves the Jedi – Star Wars The Clone Wars When the Clone Wars began, viewers figured Anakin would lose his Padawan, but few people could have predicted how he would lose her. After being falsely accused of murder and ousted by the Jedi Order, Ahsoka is offered the chance to return. However, she declines. I'm sorry, Master, but I'm not coming back. The farewell between Master and Apprentice is heartbreaking every time. And it's also worth coming back to because of how pivotal the moment is for the story overall. Not only is it an important step in Ahsoka's personal journey, it also helps inform Anakin's eventual fall to the dark side. I understand. More than you realize, I understand wanting to walk away from the Order. I know. Number 13. Do or Do Not Star Wars Episode 5 The Empire Strikes Back some of Yoda's finest scenes occur when he's training Luke on Dagobah. The little green mentor tasks Luke with lifting his X-Wing out of the swamp using the Force. When the young Jedi expresses doubt, Yoda encourages him with a simple phrase. All right, I'll give it a try. No, try not. Do or do not. There is no try. He then goes on to explain how the Force holds the universe together. Although Luke still thinks it's impossible to lift the X-Wing, Yoda proves him wrong. This beautiful scene really encapsulates Yoda's best qualities and what the Force is all about. If you're considering re-watching this scene, there's no do not, only do. Number 12. Vader Dons the Suit Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith Anakin Skywalker's duel with Obi-Wan on the lava-rich Mustafar leaves the budding Sith Lord horribly burned. Fortunately for Anakin, the newly minted Emperor Palpatine finds him and rushes him to a medical facility. There, we watch as he's placed on a table that looks like something ripped out of Frankenstein and transformed into a full-on cyborg. And when that mask drops onto his burned visage and he takes those first iconic breaths, we get chills every time. As awesome as it is to revisit such a pivotal moment, most people probably rewatch the scene for that infamous and meme worthy shot of Vader yelling. No! Number 11. Binary Sunset Star Wars Episode 4 A New Hope. After his uncle buys a few new droids, Luke Skywalker inquires whether the Obi-Wan Kenobi in R2-D2's message might be related to Ben Kenobi. However, his uncle Owen discourages both that line of thought and Luke's desires to leave his home for the Academy. Where are you going? Looks like I'm going nowhere. I have to go finish cleaning those droids. Frustrated, Luke goes outside and watches as the sun set over Tatooine. We hear John Williams' iconic score soar in the background as he dreams of something more for his life. The imagery and the song make this scene absolutely iconic. 
Although this moment has been recreated in other parts of the franchise, we always prefer the original scene because it marks the calm moment before Luke's tremendous journey began. Number 10. Ahsoka vs. Darth Vader – Star Wars Rebels After Ezra and his fellow Rebels gain access to a Sith temple, Darth Vader arrives on the scene, looking like a boss. He then delivers the most badass compliment slash threat of all time. I don't fear you. Then you will die braver than most. The scene gets even better when Ahsoka arrives to save the day. She expresses disbelief that Anakin and Vader could be the same person, and promises to avenge the man her master used to be. Revenge is not the Jedi way. I am no Jedi. Although Ahsoka is holding him off to save her friends, she also keeps fighting because she doesn't want to leave his side again. Their emotional clash hits hard every time. The music, the dialogue, the action, and the characters are all in fine form here. This is peak Star Wars. Number 9. The Tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith It's a Sith legend. Darth Plagueis was a dark lord of the Sith, so powerful and so wise, he could use the Force to influence the midi-chlorians to create life. The prequel trilogy is often criticized for how many scenes there are of people sitting around and talking. However, one of the most riveting scenes in all of Star Wars is a conversation between two people. While viewing a stunning space opera performance, Chancellor Palpatine talks with Anakin Skywalker. Their intense conversation begins, with Palpatine playing on Anakin's doubts about the Jedi Council. The Chancellor then relates the tragedy of his former master, Darth Plagueis the Wise. Palpatine tells Anakin his master could prolong death and create life. He could actually save people from death. The dark side of the Force is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural. The scene has so much masterful acting, great subtext, and subtle foreshadowing that it basically requires multiple viewings. Is it possible to learn this power? Not from a Jedi. Number 8. Hello There! Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith one of the most meme-worthy moments of the Star Wars franchise occurs during the final confrontation between Obi-Wan Kenobi and General Grievous. The Jedi General drops in on Grievous and utters two famous words. Hello there. As a bonus, his short line is a callback to A New Hope. Hello there. Although the line has recurred in a variety of other media in the franchise, it's this particular moment that became a meme. If you ever meet a fellow Star Wars fan, be sure to greet them this way. Not doing so would just be uncivilized. So uncivilized. Number 7. Darth Vader's Rampage Aboard the Profundity – Rogue One – A Star Wars Story The conclusion of Rogue One sees the Rebels acquire plans for the Death Star. But just as they receive them, their ship is boarded by Darth Vader. The Dark Lord of the Sith enters a corridor where a door has jammed and ignites his lightsaber. His ensuing rampage is like something out of a horror movie. It very well may be the most badass and terrifying Vader scene ever put to screen. We all knew the Sith Lord was capable of this, but seeing it is believing, and it's a sight many fans love to revisit. If you take any lesson from this list, it's this. If a Skywalker approaches you in a hallway, run. Here, here. Take it. Take it. Number 6. Order 66 Star Wars Episode 3 – Revenge of the Sith The Star Wars franchise is full of stories of people meeting terrible fates. One of the most tragic and unfair scenes occurred in Revenge of the Sith. With his identity outed and Anakin on his side, Palpatine orders his clone troopers to take the lives of every Jedi. The time has come. Execute Order 66. Watching the Jedi get taken out by their own men is heartbreaking to see. It's equally sad to think about what became of the younglings. Master Skywalker, there are too many of them. What are we going to do? Order 
Order 66 is the moment where everything changes for the worse. As the Jedi fall, the Empire rises. This pivotal moment is definitely worth re-watching on its own, but it gets even darker once you know all the Jedi who lost their lives through other Star Wars media. Number 5. I Know Star Wars Episode 5: The Empire Strikes Back Han Solo and company hope to find a safe harbor in Cloud City with Lando Calrissian. Unfortunately, the Empire got there first and struck a deal. Han is set to be frozen in carbonite and given to bounty hunter Boba Fett. While trying to comfort an angry Chewbacca, Han and Leia say their farewells with a kiss before she declares her true feelings. I love you. I know. Harrison Ford's improvised reply is iconic. However, it's not the only memorable line in this scene. Vader manages to deliver a great line of his own. Calrissian, take the princess and the Wookiee to my ship. You said they'd be left in the city under my supervision. I am altering the deal. Pray I don't alter it any further. The unique location and fantastic dialogue make this a scene you love to rewatch. We know. Number 3. The Battle of Yavin Star Wars Episode 4 A New Hope the Rebellion's first big battle with the Empire on screen is also one of their most successful. When the Rebels discover the Death Star is on its way to destroy them, they're forced to make a strategic assault on its weak point. With Vader right on Luke's tail, a last-minute save by Han allows Luke to make the shot that blows up the massive battle station. The effects during this scene were groundbreaking for the time. And regardless of whether you're watching the original or special editions, this is a spectacular action scene. The triumph we feel at the Death Star's destruction never goes away. You might say this scene is… That was one in a million. Number 3. Anakin vs. Obi-Wan – Star Wars Episode 3 – Revenge of the Sith After Anakin officially joins the dark side, Obi-Wan confronts him on the planet Mustafar. We're then treated to a lightsaber duel for the ages. The spectacle of both combatants leaping aboard floating debris on a river of lava is as amazing as the intense fight choreography. There's also a lot of emotional weight to the scene. Obi-Wan is forced to defeat his former friend and leave him behind. It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! You underestimate my power! Don't try it! As much as the moment where Anakin lies defeated has been rewatched for the memes, the whole fight is so incredible that we couldn't claim to have the high ground if we didn't include the whole thing. Number 2. Duel of the Fates Star Wars Episode 1 The Phantom Menace. This prequel duel is simply a work of art. Darth Maul confronts Obi-Wan Kenobi and his master, Qui-Gon Jinn, on Naboo. The ensuing fight is easily one of the greatest lightsaber duels in the franchise. All three combatants' blows fly fast and furious in a beautifully choreographed dance of blades. The battle takes a huge turn when Obi-Wan helplessly watches as Maul ends Qui-Gon's life. But Obi-Wan is soon able to avenge his master by severely wounding Maul. The emotional weight, killer moves, and absolutely godly music take this fight to a whole other level. This is what happens when Star Wars fires on all cylinders. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Rey and Finn vs. Kylo Ren, Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens full of atmosphere and desperation. Luke removes Vader's mask. Star Wars Episode 6, Return of the Jedi. We love looking on Anakin's final moments with our own eyes. Maul and Savage Press versus Darth Sidious. Star Wars The Clone Wars. Three dark side users in one fight? Awesome. Yoda vs. Darth Sidious, Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. 
two powerful force users duke it out on the Senate floor. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. I Am Your Father – Star Wars Episode V – The Empire Strikes Back If you search your feelings, you'll know this had to be our choice. While the entire first duel between Luke and Darth Vader is pretty beloved, one moment overshadows the whole fight. After injuring Luke, the villain corners him over a precipitous drop on Cloud City. Vader then asks the young Jedi to join him. With our combined strength, we can end this destructive conflict and bring order to the galaxy. I'll never join you! Although Luke has many reasons to refuse, he mentions that the villain took his father's life. Then Vader drops a bombshell. He is Luke's father. No, I am your father. It's more than just an amazing twist. It could be argued that all of Star Wars hinges on this one moment. This scene is both iconic and crucial to the franchise. It's the moment every Star Wars fan has to rewatch. Search your feelings, you know it to be true. No! No! Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.